Keith, it was a celebration of life, one that many of the women who attended today here outside of Herman Square say it impacted them in a positive light. Many of them say they hope they could live even a fraction of the life of the former first lady. The tranquility of Herman Square Fountain in the backdrop with former First Lady Barbara Bush's life in the forefront. Just a consummate Houstonian, an educator, lover of all. Shades of blue and strings of pearls worn as tributes. I have such love for Barbara, so if I could honor in any way, this was really easy. This is just a, a small, small way to, to um, honor her and her all the lovely things that she did and the person that she was. On the steps of City Hall, the community came to celebrate the life of a model woman. I guess when you say Barbara Bush, I just think like this strong, fearless woman who's not afraid to do what she thinks is right for the people. If I could have half her community spirit and a mother, oh boy, if I could be half that mother. <laughs> it's almost getting you teary-eyed. It is. But <laughs> she was okay. women and those being groomed into them inspired to live a life of service. It made me think like I want to do something like this. I want to like help people. A historic moment moms wanted their young daughters to witness for there's a lesson they too plan to enforce. It's reading. I tell my kids all the time read 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 um, definitely helps them in their education. The tribute to Mrs. Bush continues tonight here at City Hall with the building right behind me lit up in blue, blue being the former First Lady's favorite color.